Okay, severe thunderstorm watch right now. Here we go. It's in effect for the northern half of the Metroplex. Anywhere from Sulphur Springs to Greenville to McKinney to Denton to Decatur, Graham and north to the Red River. We have this thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. Flood watch uh, northeast Texas until 4 o'clock in the morning. A lot of heavy rain in that location. Two to four with some spots seen even a little bit more. You can just see the beginning of it here. This is Wise County kind of just starting to move in just a little bit into that far northwestern section of Wise County and north of there, Monte County, severe thunderstorm warning. It's quarter size hail, 60 mile an hour winds, a lot of lightning, a lot of heavy rain, certainly a lot of thunder as well. 645 Monte County, severe thunderstorm warning. That'll arrive in Forestburg, that the heaviest of the heavy. I know it's raining there now. Forestburg at 625, Munster at 640, and Lindsay at 653, Gainesville at 7 o'clock. And the storm will hold together. It could produce some quarter size hail and some 60 mile an hour winds. All the activity has stayed away today. We still have sunshine out in the Dallas Fort Worth area. That's where it is right now. About an hour and 40 minutes, this is where it'll be. It'll be in Denton. I know it never rains there, but Denton, you're going to see rain tonight. That's 8 o'clock. Here it comes at 9 o'clock. And as this moves in, this is 10 o'clock. As this moves in, the concern that I have, the biggest concern right now, it's the quarter size hail. And also the number two concern would be those 60 mile an hour winds. The tornado threat's not zero. But once again, it's really, really low. 10 o'clock. Watch this. Let me step out of the way. 11 o'clock. We still have the rain. And again, on this leading edge, we could have the gusty winds and the hail that I just referred to. That's 11. Here's midnight. So still raining in the Metroplex, but most of the if there's any severe stuff, it'll be out of the Metroplex by about 11 or 12 o'clock tonight. If it develops at all, there's one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. Cold fronts on top of DFW at 3 a.m. The heavy stuff is all in Central Texas and East Texas at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now at 7 tomorrow morning, a couple spotty showers for your morning commute. Be prepared for that. Certainly some clouds to start the day tomorrow. And as this cold front moves away, look, it's still cloudy throughout the, the lunchtime. Then finally we start to see some clearing late in the day. Don't expect a sunny day tomorrow. If it happens, we're going to be lucky, but the clouds linger for a big part of the day as we head through Thursday. Rainfall totals more to the uh, northeast. The Metroplex and to the southwest could see anywhere from one to two with some higher amounts in those locations. Temperatures over the next uh, five days. Look at the weekend cooler than normal 73 Saturday and 79 the high on Sunday. Get ready for that. It'll be a, the coolest weather we've had since May 70. That's the low tonight. 100% coverage of rain tonight. Tomorrow we hit 82 30% of a sea rain, especially in the morning. It's very slow clearing late in the day, breezy and cooler. We had a high temperature today of 95. The record high today is 96. So we were a degree away from tying the record high, but much cooler weather on the way. There it is. Uh, the next seven days, uh, 70s for the weekend, 80, 80 degree temps for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. And the final seven days, there they are. A little bit of rain as we head through October uh, 12 and 13. Then the following weekend, the Fort Jesse, I'm on television right now. Sorry, we're busy. Live television talking. When I talk, you don't when the television sets on. Do you believe that, Joe? That's what I got to put up with. I have the whole weather team in here tonight. There we go. I you cannot know? believe you got to put up with that.